response of yes, they can. Secondly, I made my decision because if we did not sign a contract with Stephen Phillips, homeless people from another council would move to this area and we will bring forward evidence, uh, Chair, in a moment to that effect. I'll now turn to Mr Chapman to respond with the facts. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councillor Stephen. Peter Chapman, please. Uh, thank you, Chair, good evening, members. Um, just a very brief summary of the facts um, as uh, presented in the full report, um, I thought might be helpful. So, first, to, to acknowledge, and we've been consistent on this message throughout all of the media address, that this is an incredibly difficult situation we find ourselves in, but believe we have no real choice. As has been said um, by Councillor Seaton and Councillor Bull in her question, and clarified throughout the evening so far, residents will lose their tenancies regardless of action this council takes or does not take. Um, it therefore becomes a matter of um, trying to ensure that those properties aren't taken by homeless households from outside Peterborough. Also, for the ones of doubt, um, let me make clear that this council is not making anybody homeless. The action being taken is by the owners of the properties, um, who will sign the Magic Investments Limited. And we do know that the properties will be leased to another council. We've spent some time contacting Stephen Phillips, um, who have confirmed that a double-fold increase in homelessness in this city. That has to be sorted now. It's imminent. Our primary duty must be to our own. That is, ensuring that Peterborough homeless families get placements in this city. And Stephen Phillips' offer seems timely in dealing with the demand and the search that we're now facing. I therefore propose that we reject the calling and urge my colleagues to do the same. Anybody else wish to have Councillor Bisbee, please? Thank you, Chair. Um, I would agree with my colleague here in that the impact on the schools and health service should be not take this and other councils actually take up the offer, such as London or whatever. Um, and I do accept that it is not the council that's making the residents homeless, it is Stephen Phillips. Uh, I believe this is the best option that the council have, although I do have sympathy with the residents who are having their tenancy agreements terminated. No, you don't. Tosh. Out of Tosh. Sorry, Chair. Yeah, yeah. I'm the one being rude, David. Is that okay? Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Um, Councillor Bisbee, have you finished or were you interrupted halfway through your stream? Thank you very much. Um, I'd just like to say that Stephen Phillips are obviously exercising their legal rights um, and will offer the properties to other councils. And so I think the best option is to use them ourselves in this agreement. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Bisbee. Councillor King, any comments? No, I just can go with what sort of just Terrible. Uh, Councillor Martin. Thank you, Chair. Um, it's obvious that this decision is purely and simply about money. <laughs> a no fault or consideration being given to the effects on people and families who will be evicted from their homes. These hard working people who pay their rent and council taxes but are now to be thrown onto the streets. Evicting people to house the homeless is an idea worthy of the Monty Python theme. It would be funny if it was not so moral and cruel. Yeah. This decision must be reversed and the idea scrapped. If not, the residents of Cornwall will neither forget nor forgive this office act. To confirm the decision would set a worrying precedent, leaving other people residents wondering if they will be next to lose their homes. The council should instead look for or build alternative accommodation to house people on a permanent basis and reduce the numbers on our housing waiting list. Here, here. Thank you, Chairman. I concur with what my colleague has said. 
completely but I will also add that it sets a very dangerous precedence uh, if we go ahead with this decision I feel that we need to have a fuller debate and we need to consider all other <coughs> options that might be available I fully understand the difficulties uh, the financial difficulties that we face the difficulties that we face in housing homeless people but I do not feel throwing people out on the streets who already a settled community is a solution to this problem. Thank you, Thank you, Chair. This is difficult. This is so, so hard. Um, I feel previously council have been caught in a rock and a hard place. And I do certainly feel for tenants, but I do feel we have to pursue all other options open to ourselves, which is why I'm agreeing with Corby. I now read the following statement before we go to vote. The call-in should only be used in exceptional circumstances where members of a scrutiny committee have evidence which suggests that the uh, executive did not take the decision in accordance with the principle set out in part two, article 12, decision making. We will need to base our decision on the facts and the evidence that have been presented to us this evening, not hearsay and other outside points of view, but what you've heard this evening, please. After considering the request to call in and all relevant advice, we may either not agree to the request to call in when the decision shall take effect immediately. Or if we decide to call in the decision, we can either refer the decision back to the decision maker for a reconsideration, setting out our concerns, or refer the matter to the full council. If we decide to refer the decision back to the decision maker, the committee will need to prepare reasons and recommendations for referral to the decision maker or full council. At this stage, I ask for a vote as follows. All those in favour of calling in the decision. All those not in favour. That leaves the chairman with the casting vote. There was no abstentions. That's three, four, three against. Councillor Murphy. Councillor Fox has no voting rights. Thank you. I've got to say, before I cast my vote, there's been an awful lot of heat on this, understandably. And hopefully there's been some light thrown on it this evening. And I can personally say that I think that the business mechanism, the business model, of Stephen Phillips stinks like last week's fish. Yeah, yeah. To make uh, people homeless, to accommodate homeless people, beggars belief. However, I, told you. I, told you. I do need to know that this is a one off because are we going to be kippered like this time and time again by this big business mechanism that's now in place? Yeah. I want to know what. Um, Outreach facilities we have to help those that will be evicted if the uh, uh, call in is given or refused. Uh, so, what plans are in place? I'd like to know from uh, the uh, members of the team to help those. I'm sure you've addressed it already, but I wondered if you could come back to me and how much we're going to help these people. You can't come back in the middle of a vote. Can I not ask a further question? Legal yes. officer's there. Legal officer. Well, I'm doing this with a heavy heart. <laughs> Go get the call in. I'm not supporting the call in. Oh, surprise. Yeah. Oh, surprise. <laughs> I've made my uh, points clear. I think that we are where we are. And I think it's a tragedy that we end up in this situation. Yeah, this you can. This mechanism that uh, is being used. And I hope that we can put something in place to ensure we don't get it time and time again. Thank Shame you. on you. No, that's not going to happen. And I hope you sleep well at night. Hmm. Okay, I need to, um, yeah, that's right, David. You're doing that thing again, mate. And I found... Yeah, you're doing that again, Dave. Dave, you're doing that to your gang. I'm scared of you. I'm really nervous. Do what? Do what? What, do that? You don't like me doing that? You shouldn't do that so much. Yeah? Doing it again. Doing it again. Doing it. I think it's repugnant. I really do. It's a joke. <laughs> 